Hi you guys out there, it's me Alina with 101 Ways of Art and I have another video for you guys. This is a video of me showing you guys how I made my Step Right Up If You Dare carnival signs for my haunted house. So if you guys already subscribe to my channel or know me personally, then you already know that I absolutely love Halloween. And I also love creating and making my own props for Halloween. I always try to make my props and all my decorations as cheap as I can. I always try to use materials that I already have, and I try to make my creations as inexpensive as possible. So I couldn't make a creepy carnival haunted house without having some creepy carnival signs. So to make my signs, I just used two rectangle boxes that I already had downstairs in the basement. Next, I spray painted the cardboard boxes white, and I waited for them to dry. Then I took some painter's tape and created a starburst coming from the middle of the sign. I wanted my sign to look like a really old-fashioned circus sign, so I wanted to create the starburst that comes from in back of the lettering. So I figured using the painter's tape would help me with that effect. Now that I was done making my starburst with my painter's tape, I just took a red spray paint and lightly coated the top of the box. I wasn't going for a heavy look with the red paint. I wanted the sign to look faded. Now, if you don't happen to have any spray paint or painter's tape, you can always paint the cardboard box by hand and use a ruler to make your lines. Once I noticed all my red spray paint was dry, I just carefully pulled down my painter's tape. Now it was time for me to work on my words. I first wrote the words out with a Sharpie marker. Then I took some black paint and a small square tip paintbrush and I traced my letters. There was really nothing special about the black paint that I used. I just used Kids Craft black paint. Now there was a couple of things I had to do to my letters to make them look like circus letters. First, I kind of had to box off the top and bottom of each letter. Oh God, I'm so New York letter. <laughs> Hope you guys like that one. <laughs> then I had to create a line between each letter. And for each line between each letter, I had to curve and point it out. Then I also had to curve in and square off each top and bottom of each letter. So with the same black paint and the same paintbrush, I started working on my creepy lettering. My creepy lettering is a little bit harder to explain because I knew I wanted my creepy letters to look like tattered bones or maybe even scratch claw marks so um that's what i was going for and i think with the brush that i was using it kind of worked to my advantage and i think i was successful on my creepy lettering so this is the sign after i was done with all my creepy lettering and my writing and the only thing that I didn't get a chance to record was me spray painting a little bit of black around the rim of the cardboard box. Just to make it look weathered and tattered and a little bit faded. Now here's just some video of me painting on my porch the If You Dare sign. Um, I love painting on my porch. It's really big and I have a lot of arts and crafts stations on my porch. I tend to do five or six projects um, in one day on every side of my porch. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys so that you could see me actually painting the cardboard box. And I really wanted to let you guys know that I absolutely hate watching myself on video and it's really hard sometimes editing and making videos and um, seeing yourself on the video, and it's really hard to um, not overanalyze yourself um, and your surroundings <laughs> on video. So I hope you guys appreciate me showing you guys um, me looking like crap on video. <laughs>
so that's basically it my two signs are done I wish I had some video of my big um, huge the creepy carnival sign but I don't but it was all the same I basically did all the same steps I did for my step right up and if you dare signs I used my painters tape for my lines the same black paint and the same paintbrush so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you comment and subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.